G'day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this hair material. Um, it's really simple and easy to do. The lighting and everything is already going to be set up for you because you can download this model that I will be providing. Um, now this is one of my own models and if you look in the description below you're going to see a link for um, BlendSwap and when you open that up you can see here um, you can download it. It's only two megabytes. It's in a zip folder so all you have to do is extract that zip folder um, open up the blend file and we can pretty much get started and I ho hope you guys will really find this useful. So once you've downloaded the blend file from BlendSwap, you've extracted it and opened it up, you're gonna see by default we have this um, setup here. We have the model here with everything already set up in the, the right corner here and here we have um, an open space to work with our nodes. You can see here by default, I have a temporary hair um, shader set up that's just included in the file, but I'm going to be showing you how to make your own from scratch. Now, just some things to keep in mind. I have my GPU enabled. If you don't have a GPU, it's okay. It'll just default to your CPU. And another thing to keep in mind is I have noise and denoising enabled in this blend file. Now, you're not going to have that if you have an older version of Blender. So make sure you have a version of Blender 2.785 and up. So make sure before you do this, you just go to blender.org and get yourself the latest version of Blender. And we are also working in cycles. Cool, now that I have that out of the way, we can start setting up our hair material. Now this is a pretty simple setup. It's pretty realistic and um, it doesn't take much time at all. So if I quickly go to my model here and I go Shift Z and I render here, do a preview render. You can see this is the model. This is one I have made and I've provided it to you guys for free. And this will just help us to test um, hair and things like that. And we'll be using this model in the future as well. So you can go ahead and like I said, you've probably already downloaded this model. And yeah, you can see the lighting, everything is set up. So all we have to do now is simply create the material. So if I were to plug this temporary material out, you can see the hair goes black because there's nothing going into the surface. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and we're gonna go and create a material from scratch. Now to make rendering while we're making this material a little bit easier, I've also set up render layers. So if you hold in shift and you click on these little tabs here, I can disable some of these layers, okay? So I'm gonna, holding in shift, disable this first layer and that's the only one I need to disable. So all we have here is our environment, our lighting, our camera, and our hair. And I'm also gonna go control B and just create a border box within our camera view to only render a small portion. And this is just gonna make our preview rendering easier and quicker while we're creating a material and that's always a really good practice to get into. So without wasting any more time, we're gonna go Shift A, Search, and we're gonna get a diffuse node. Then we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna get a hair BSDF, put it underneath the diffuse, then we're going to create a mix shader, plug this diffuse into the top and the hair into the bottom. And we're going to plug this one into the surface. And as you can see, our hair looks really white and really glossy. So one thing we're going to do is make the diffuse a light brown, or a dark brown actually. And we're going to make the hair down the bottom here a reddish kind of brown, but not too dark something like that. And you can see here, this is gonna be the base of our hair, but it's not quite realistic yet. So what we're gonna do is gonna go select our mix here, go Shift D, duplicate this one and plug it in here. Then we're gonna take our hair here, we're gonna go Shift D, duplicate it, put this one underneath this mix shader and plug it into the bottom of this mix. And we're gonna make this color a lighter brown like this. Okay, a brownish orange. And we're gonna make the roughness on this 0 0.07. And as you can see here, our material, our hair is starting to look quite a lot better. But what we need to do is do um, increase this factor amount here a bit. So I'm gonna make this 0 0.6. And we're gonna get more of this um, lighter hair reflection coming through. And that's gonna make our hair look more like hair actually does. And as you can see, our hair actually looks quite nice right now, but the problem is it still looks um, fake. And the reason it does 
is because at the moment we don't have any translucency. And translucency is very important whenever we're dealing with something organic like hair because it'll have a lot of light um, passing through it. So what we're going to do, once again, we're going to grab our mix shader. We're going to go shift D, duplicate it, put it in between the mix and the material output. And we're going to make it point free. Okay. And we're going to plug a translucent node into this bottom factor. So I'm going to go shift A, search, and we're going to get a translucent. Make sure it's not a transparent. It has to be a translucent. So select that one. We're going to make the value a little bit darker and then we're going to plug this into the bottom here and voila we have translucency now at the moment you can't really see the effects that much but when we render this it's going to have a nice soft hair effect to it it's going to look really nice and um, you'll see when we render it so i'm going to quickly go holding in shift enable the first layer again go control b and create a bigger render border and we can now render this. I'm gonna to go to my little camera here and I'm gonna press render. And when this is done rendering, I'll um, show you guys what it looks like. So it's now done rendering and you can see our hair looks quite amazing. Now, you can see we have a little bit of um, artifacts here and that's because um, with something like translucency, you do need to set a higher um, sample rate but you're welcome to go ahead and do that. But overall, this hair looks really nice. Um, it's a really simple setup and you can use this on any of your models and um, I hope you guys have found this useful. I hope you like this model I have provided you and if you like this, leave a comment below, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Also, check out some of my Facebook stuff, Twitter and my website where there's some other courses um, available. I'll put links to all of that below and um, I'll see you guys later and thank you for watching.